Hi, guys. How can I get a new idea about Elementor Shortcode Builder, which is one of uh, Porn Boost's popular add-ons for my calendar? Today in this video, we're going to show you how to install and activate it and also configure this add-on and use all its different features. So Elementor Shortcode Builder helps you customize your shortcode page or the calendar page, and it has a visual live editor, which helps you to add it to your pages and customize your shortcode and your the calendar page as much as you want, and with that, it definitely can't do as much customization that you can with it. So, stay with me to see how it starts. Let's start. Well, the shortcut will add on is very simple to set up, but there is one important step you need to take after you have installed the plugin. Head to the settings menu under Elementor and enable the shortcodes option under post types. Now, you can head to the Pages section to create a new calendar page. I'll just title uh, this one test uh, for our demo and hit Publish. Next, click on the Edit with Elementor button on the top. Now, on this page, search for the shortcode builder widget which is now added um, thanks to the add-on you've installed. Drag the widget in the middle and wait for it to load. In short, this is what the shortcode build add-on offers. It allows you uh, to modify and view changes made to your calendar shortcode in real time. Let's say I want to change the skin to grid view. As you can see, the change gets reflected immediately. Let's also change the number of rows to 3. We've also got the start date and end date. Most of the options that were previously only available in the backend can also be easily accessed from the front. You can also easily change the date format so that the day is shown at the end. Next, we want our calendar to show way more events, so we'll change the value from 6 to 24. You can also specify how the load button behaves whether there's a button, infinite scroll or next or previous button. There are plenty of options to toggle. Let's try out the booking button which we've customized to say hello. Now, what if you uh, want the event category to be shown on the calendar page? Just toggle the option for it and it will appear. Lastly, you can set how the single event page behaves when you click on it. Whether it redirects on the current window, a new window opens up or a pop-up or there is no event page and you've just got a static calendar page with disabled link. Don't forget that each calendar skin offers multiple styles that you can choose as well. It's worth mentioning that the options available to you also change depending on the calendar skin you choose. So if I switch over to the full calendar skin, you can see many new options are now added here. For example, you can choose whether grid view and tile view are included in the calendar switch bar. You can enable the option to display the latest upcoming event. Most importantly, you can select which view is shown by default at first. I want tile view to be the default calendar. Another important feature is the search form that you can easily enable or disable. You can filter different taxonomies right here, for example, category with a reset button. A really useful filter option is the date picker, which allows users to select the events available in a specific range. You can even customize the placeholder text and the search bar to your likings. The next section is filter options, which allows you to include or exclude events from the start based uh, on a specific taxonomy. For example, I want only the business and professional events to be shown. Since these are all repeating events, I can enable the show only one occurrence option so that the next immediate one is displayed here. Let me switch to a different uh, event category. 
So, we've got category, location, organizer, label, tags, um, authors, all of which can be included or excluded from the calendar showed code. Lastly, we have the option to show only available events, expired events, or all of them. It displays ongoing events by default. And when you select include expired events, it will show all of them. The next perk that's un unlocked with this add-on is the styling options that become available to you. All the elements available in your um, selected calendar skin can be styled to a preference. Let's play with the event item style a bit and change the border radius to make it bigger. We can even add a shadow effect to the event box. Also, we can modify the padding and margin as well, so there's no limit to what you can do here uh, with these styling options. You can adjust the feature image for the calendar as well, but since uh, this view uses a cover, um, and it uses a cover, um, the changes I make actually won't be reflected. You can also customize the next and previous button to better match the theme color on your website. Let's switch to another calendar view, list view with the standard style, for example. As before, you have new styling options available now that were not there for the other calendar. If we activate the search form for this view and add a couple of properties, um, for it, then we can change the icon size and icon color from the search filter settings. For example, in the divider section, which are the months, you can customize the phone size and color. If you want to make the event smaller, then you can head to the event item style and adjust the margin to take uh, less space. You can also decide whether to include the social media buttons and how they look right here from the front end. You can do that. Let's increase the icon size to 15, then 10 and see how easy it is to make changes. Finally, once you update and preview the live page, the calendar shortcode will be identical to what you created on Elementor with the shortcode builder. Again, all the changes you make take effect in real time. So if I change the calendar skin to read view novel style, for example, and hit update, then these changes on my live page uh, are actually as well. You can see them. This calendar style has a blue color that I don't quite like. I'll just head to the style section and change the background color to, be, uh, to better fit my design here. Lovely, isn't it? There you have it. The short code build add-on allows you to quickly make changes to your calendar pages, both in terms of function and style. So if you're a developer that always relies on the Elementor page builder, then make sure to add this product to your cart. Thanks for staying with me on TV and the video. Don't forget to ring the bell and also subscribe to our channel let to miss some of our uh, upcoming videos. Also, do let me know down below in the comment section what other topics or ideas you'd like us to cover in our future videos. Thanks and see you in the next video.